for tonight's final game, which will feature the visiting team, Providence Christian Eagles, taking on the home team, Houston County Lions. Your team lineups for tonight, starting with the Providence Eagles, Jonathan Wells, Jacob Lewis, Cole Smith, Gus Goldsboro, Cameron Ingram. Your starters tonight for Providence at guard, a 5'8 senior, number one, Hayes Lewis. At forward, a 6'3 senior, number four, Jackson Colley. At guard, a junior, Abe Chancellor. At guard, a 5'11 senior, number 10, Collins McClintock. And at forward, a 5'11 junior, number 12, Grant Weatherford. Providence Christian is coached by Mark Wright. And now for the home team, Houston County Lions, Tyshawn Allen, Isaiah Pollard, Houston County starters for tonight at guard, a 6'2 junior, number three, Rashad Goods. At forward, a 6'1 junior, number four, Katavian Johnson. At forward, a 6'2 junior, number five, Christian Perkins. At guard, a 5'7 senior, number 22, Brendan White. And at forward, a 6'6 senior, number 24, Brakevian Sappho. Houston County is coached by Coach Brandon Brown, assistant coaches Byron Williams and Jake Allen. Officials for tonight's game are Dustin Ragsdale, Felton Blackman, and Larry Simmons. Your clock keeper is Miss Cynthia Adams, and on the books, Mr. Danny Youngblood. Okay, there you have it as we get ready to kick off this game tonight between the Providence Eagles and the Houston County Lions. I'm Mick Kirkland along with uh, George Willard. And George, we are in for an exciting game tonight. Yeah, I think so, Mitt. You know, uh, Providence comes in. I've seen them over the years. I hadn't seen much out of Houston County. I know uh, Saffold is the player to watch for Houston County, though, tonight. And um, I think we're in for a good, good matchup. So we're getting set for the tip-off. 3A versus the 1A, so. This is the first day of the 14th annual Downtown Dothan Hoops Classic. And the tip goes to Providence. Hayes Lewis has it for the Eagles. Drive baseline, dish off, shot up, partially blocked, rebounded by Sappho. Yeah, he's definitely got the high advantage, so I think he's going to be swatting some shots tonight. Shot of three from number 22, White. So, Houston County takes the early lead. Nice pass. Lewis kicks it out. Shot up, missed, rebounded, put back, and it's saved. Shot up, and it's good. That was a two from number five, as Chancellor. It's good work there by Providence. Got some offensive rebounds, kicked it back out to him and let it shoot again, he knocked it down, so. Sappho from the top of the key, and he knocks in a three. So the Lions, pretty good. The Lions go up six to two. Both of uh, their field goals come in from behind the three-point line. Five, four. 
That foul is on number 22, White. White, White, 22. <laughs> Cross-court pass over to McClintock. Chancellor pulls up, shoots, and knocks in a three. So Chancellor has hit all five of Providence's points. So it's a 6-5 game. Looks like he's the shooter for them. Baseline drive, kicks it back out, and it's off the hands of number 22, White, and the ball goes over to Providence. McClintock brings it across half court. And the ball goes out of bounds, and it's a eagle turnover. White. He's being pressured, and he throws it away right into the hands of Cooley. Yeah, that was good defense by Providence. And the layup, no go. And it's rebounded by Goods. Goods over to White. White spins and tries to force it, and he travels. So two turnovers in a row by the Lions. Pass over to McClintock. He takes the shot, and it's good. A three from McClintock. It was wide open. He just knocked it down. Try to get the ball into Sappho, and it's off the tips of his fingers. Still just a two-point game, though. Ball inside, and it's stripped away by Perkins. Sappho, he maintains control, pitches it out to White. Sappho with the big move off the glass, won't go rebounded that time by Cooley. And Providence loose the ball out of bounds. Into the game for Providence is number 13, Smith, and leave it as number four, Cooley. Goods. White inside the cell phone. They're going to try to go inside the cell phone. He's a lot bigger than anybody else out on the court. He is, and he's their best player, so you might as well get the ball in his hands. He drew the foul right there. That foul is on number 12. Weatherford, his first. And Houston County loses the ball out of bounds again. They have uh, committed three turnovers in the last four possessions. Yeah, and it's a close game right now. So, shape that up. Otherwise, it Nice drive from. to the basket by Weatherford for two. It was. That was a nice play right there. Nice little post move. Got him to the hoop. So, the Eagles go up 10 to 6. All of uh, Houston County schools, they had two field goals, and they both were threes, and they haven't done anything since. Rebound by Providence. A lot of turnovers right now. Nice speed in the lane. Turn around shot, no good. Rebounded by McClintock. Having a really hard time getting any offense going. And a really great defensive play that time by Johnson to get back and knock that one out of bounds and keep it 
away from the offensive player. Yeah, that was a great hustle right there. Into the game for Providence is number 14, Jacob Lewis. Cross court pass, shot up, wide open, missed. Rebounded by Perkins. So Into Sefo, yeah. These teams are being very patient on offense, though. White takes the shot, misses, and is rebounded by Chans Chancellor, and he scores. Nice play right there. That's seven points for Chancellor. He went two on one right there and converted. Foul. The foul is on Weatherford, his second. Providence is coached by Mark Wright. Houston County coached by Brendan Brown. Shot off the glass and we'll see if it counts. I think it does. And Sappho hits his fifth point of the game. That was the first field goal made by uh, Houston County in a while. Yeah, it was. They're only down four right now. And the foul shot missed. Ingram. Shot up, no good, rebound. And it goes out of bounds off of Chancellor. It's good defense there by Saffold. Goods, Dwight, like the goods. They're trying to get it into Saffo. And a call foul. Yeah, the foul is on Smith, his first. So That's what Houston County needs to do. They need to make sure Saffold touches the ball at least one time each possession. Right. Back into the game for Providence is number 10, McClintock. Saffold turns, shoots, misses. Rebounded by Lewis. Ingram. We're down to one minute left in the first. Providence leading 12-8. And there's a battle for the loose ball and they're still battling. Jump ball, possession arrow goes to Providence. Getting down on the floor for it. Nice hustle. Well, they said Houston County, but the arrow up there sent Providence. So it goes to Houston County. I was going by there on the scoreboard. White. <laughs> Saffold. Pulls up in the lane, takes the jumper, no good. Rebounded by Ingram. Ingram over to Smith. Smith pulls up for the shot, short, rebound, put back, and it's good. Carly with the uh, basket. One shot here. Salfo for the shot, and it's no good. So we've come to the end of one, and the score is Providence 14, Houston County 8. We'll be back with second Court action after this time out. You're watching the Phoenix Sports Network.
Okay, we start the second period of action. Drive to the middle by Hayes Lewis, miss, and rebound put back is good from Collie. That's four points for Collie. 16 to 8, Providence. Providence started to get a little rhythm going here. Good defense, nice hustle. Houston County swinging the ball around here. They're going to Sappho. He turns, spins, shoots, rolls in for the basket. Sappho with seven points. Seven of the ten Houston County points. Oop, almost a turnover there. Shot up, missed, rebounded. Hayes Lewis thought about it and commits a violation traveling. So the ball goes to Houston County. He should have shot it right as soon as he got the ball. White. Gets it across the midcourt line. Over to Johnson. Drive to the basket and try to get the ball to Sappho and it rolls off his feet and it's picked up by Goldsboro. Shot up, missed, and it's going to go to the Lions. Yeah, that was just a tough shot right there. Providence playing good defense, though. Getting a lot of turnovers. Goods. That's a pretty good name, Goods. Yeah. He's got the goods. Shot up, missed, and a foul. That foul is on number five. Perkins is first. Going to the line to shoot is number 10, McClintock. He's shooting two. First shot is good. That's four points for McClintock. Second shot up, and it's good. So McClintock makes two free throws. That gives him five points for the game and puts his team up by eight, 18 to 10. See, so they still crank up the defense here. They do. Nice trap. Yeah. Almost forced uh, Houston County into a turnover. Sure did. They get the ball into Perkins. He shoots, misses, and it's rebounded by McClintock. He controls it. Florida, good from Goldsboro, his first basket of the game. I wonder if he's in any relation to Bobby Goldsboro. I don't know. We'll have to ask that question on, <laughs> during the break. Yeah, athletic -like trivia question. They go into Sappho and that foul is on number four, Collie, his second. They're racking up the fouls trying to guard him. Yeah. Into the game is number 13, Smith, and taking a break is number four, Collie. And it's a steal by Hayes Lewis. And he lays it up and is fouled. That foul is on Perkins, his second. 
Going to the line is Hayes Lewis. This is his first visit to the charity strike tonight. And it's good. Providence is three of three from the line tonight as a team. much controlled every aspect of this game so far. Second shot is missed, but rebound and put back is, is good from number five, Chancellor. So it's a 13 point lead, 23 to 10. Shot missed and it's rebounded by McClintock. Out to Hayes Lewis on the break. Lewis goes up, misses, and is saved by McClintock. Ball in, shot missed by Chancellor. They've been having a lot of success, though, when they kick the ball to the high post like that. Sappho goes for another three. It's short, and it's rebounded by Chancellor. But it's taken away by number four. Number four is uh, Johnson. That foul is on Goldsboro, his first. Ball knocked away. Hayes Lewis is a cool player. He yes. has a lot of hustle. He, he does. I've been seeing him play for years. Oh, yeah, I know. When I called his name again, I was like, dang, man, he's still playing. <laughs> Sappho trying to do it. He drives the baseline, and he's fouled and going to the line. 13 blue. That foul is on Smith, his second. At the line is Saffold. He's 0 of 1 from the line tonight. He has seven points. 0 of 2. Second shot up, and it falls. So it's a 23 to 11 Providence lead, 340 left in the first half. Baseline drive off the glass, no good. Rebound, put by, good. <laughs> Chancellor with two more. <laughs> Chancellor has 11 points in the first yeah. half. I was gonna say he's knocked down a couple three-pointers. A nice play right there, he's played good defense, he's had a nice, nice half. Shot up. And a big three-pointer that time from White. He had one earlier. I think the first shot of the uh, first field goal of the game for Houston County, but that was a big three, and they needed that one. Yeah, they haven't had much going for them on offense so far. Houston County trying to put together a run. Good to feed into Sappho for the basket. He just Sappho. used his high advantage right there. Yeah. Sappho has 10 points. Shot missed, rebound, reset. Shot off the glass, won't go. Rebound up, good. Hey. Chancellor again. 13 points for Chancellor. Yeah, he's having a good game. White loses the ball out of bounds. 209 left in the half. It's a 27-16 lead for Providence. Shot from the corner. 
Missed, rebounded by Goods. Nice drive to the basket that time. Layup. Collar for the basket. Providence comes right back and missed the shot. Saffold gets the rebound. And it's stripped away by McClintock. Whose ball they call here? Okay, Houston County. Ball goes into Saffold. He thought about it, but he passes the ball over to White. White puts it up for another three. That's White's third three of the game. He has nine points. He can shoot, and they're down by six now. Shot off the glass is good from number 14, Lewis. Jacob Lewis. Saffold, one on one. Stops, jump, pulls up, no good. Rebounded by McClintock. Kick back out. Shot missed, and the rebound is by Pollard. And it's stripped away. Hayes Lewis, and he loses out of bounds. Yeah, that was just good defense there by Providence, and then good defense again by Houston County. Create a turnover. They need to get a couple more baskets here at the end of the half. Boy, I had time. Pollard. <laughs> yeah, he had got, it, he, but he got a little anxious. Yeah, I was going to say, he's a little out of control there. 25 seconds left in the half. 29-21, Providence leads Houston County. They're going to go for one shot and in perfectly executed. That's a nice champion. play right there. Sappho throws it up, and we've come to halftime, and the score is the Providence Eagles 31 and the Houston County High School Lions 21. We'll be back with more activities from the 14th annual downtown Dustin Houston Classic. After this time out, you're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Hello, and welcome back to the Dothan Civic Center. We're at the 14th annual Dothan Downtown Hoots Classic. I'm Mick Kirk along with uh, George Willard. George, uh, kind of recap the first half uh, of what you saw. Uh, Providence just came out, you know, played really good defense. Um, and they controlled, you know, the rebounds and just the scoring, really the tempo and the hustle. Um, but Houston County still stayed in this game. They had a slow start to the first quarter. And uh, we had um, – Number 24 for Houston County. He's he's been electric for them, kept them in this game. But Providence, is just like I said, they've been controlling everything so far. And and one of the things I noticed at halftime, the balance scoring of Providence. Providence had seven players that scored, where Houston County only had three players that scored points. Yeah. Yeah, they've been a lot more well-rounded. That's for sure. The foul is on Allen. Shot is good for McClintock. He's three of three, had five points in the first half. That gives him six so far. Makes one of two. Now the leading score for, for Houston County in the first half was number 24, Sappho, had a total of 10 points. And number 22, White, had nine points. He had three three-pointers, and Pollock had two points. For Providence, the leading score was number five, Chancellor, who had 15 points. And uh, number 10, McClintock, 
Added five more. Two from Weatherford, two from uh, Jacob Lewis, one from Hayes Lewis, and two from Goldsboro, and four from Collie. Turnover. On the inbound. And the basket is good. So they bring it within double digits now. If he starts getting in foul trouble, if he starts getting in foul trouble, then Houston County would be in trouble. It looks like they only got, excuse me, seven players. So Hayes makes one of two, 33-23. Nice Oops, speed in low, and the basket's good that time from Perkins. It's first field goal of the game. That's a nice pass. Found him wide open in the lane, and he was able to make the layup. Nice baseline drive, and he couldn't finish it. It's rebounded by Saffold. Sappho decided to take it himself, and he puts it up and misses. That foul is on Chancellor, his first. At the line is number 24, Sappho. He's only one of three from the line tonight. Makes that one. Sappho makes one of two. It's rebounded by Chancellor. Out to Hayes Lewis on the break and off the glass. Don't go. That foul is on Perkins. That's his third. That was a good job of creating contact right there by Lewis, though. Hayes Lewis is uh, two of four from the line tonight. Makes that one. Pollard back in for Houston County. Ball is rebounded by Johnson. White. Saffold. Saffold pulls up for the jumper off the mark, rebounded by Weatherford. It was a good look, though. And he loses it out on the break is Johnson. Lays it up, won't go, and. Ooh. That could have been a. Well. Oh, no. 34-26, 5.37 left in the third period of play. He's lucky he didn't get a technical foul right there. I think they didn't give it to him, though, because they were tangled up. Hayes Lewis for the jumper. No go, and it's knocked out of bounds by Houston County. So the ball will return to the Eagles. No, they said it was out of bounds off of uh, Providence, so it will be the Lions ball. Huh. With that pass. So another turnover. Yeah, and that's, you know, unfortunate because Houston County's only down by eight. So it's not like they're getting blown out right now. This can't get anything going. Well, and we talked about uh, Providence having balanced scoring. They've right. had sc scoring from a lot of different players. Well, they got other guys looking to shoot, I feel like. See, right now on this possession, we've just had three different guys shoot 
feel like Houston County's only got two that are shooting right now. That foul is on Chancellor, his second. Oh, no, it wasn't on Chancellor. It was on number five, Perkins. That's four on him. So Chancellor is the free throw that gives him six team points. So Chancellor makes both of his free throws. He has 17 points. Back to a 10 point lead, 36, 26, 4, 46 left in the third period of play. And it's a steal by Hayes Lewis. Nice play. Man, he should have just gone up for the layup. May don't get any points. Yeah. Go for the layup. White. He's fouled. That's Lewis's first foul. Sappho up off the glass for two. Good strong move that time by Sappho. 13 points for him. 36-28, Providence. Wide open shot. A three. He can shoot him. As Chancellor, that's the second three of the game, but he has a total of uh, 20 points. Oh, wow. He had 15 in the first half. He, he's added another five here in the third. Wow. He's had a quiet 20 points then. Yeah. Shot up, miss, rebounded by Saffold. Whoa, whoa. Uh, technical foul. Okay, so Chancellor picks up a personal and a technical on that play. He thought he had a clean block, but the fish is. Yeah. Okay, there's Sappho. He's hit three of his last four after missing two of his first three. So Sappho is up to 15 points. That was big right there. He could pull it within seven. He misses. So Sappho hits three of four. And uh, Houston County still maintains possession of the ball. It's a seven, uh, eight point lead, 39-31. 3.36 left in the third period. White passes it off to Pollard and it rolls out. He's done a good job of penetrating that defense. He hasn't been able to get the shots to fall. That foul is on Johnson. His first. 
lead the team into bonus yet. Timeout on the court with 3.07 left in the third. 39 for Providence, 31 for Houston County. The Eagles inbound the ball to McClintock. Wide open, Hayes Lewis from the corner and knocks in a three. Nice shot. Six points for Lewis. Back to an 11 point lead, 42 to 31. White. Balls out off. White loses the handle on it. Well, I thought it was White's ball. I thought so too. I thought he hit it from behind. Pollard. White. He's been defended by Hayes Lewis. And they get the ball to Saffold, and he pulls up for a long three, and it goes in. It bounces up and drops in. That was a big three. Yep, it was a big three. I mean, Houston County's hanging around. But Providence comes back and get a big three from Smith. That's his first basket of the game. That was a big one right there. It was huge. 45-34. Sappho pulls up for the jumper. Misses, rebounded by Lewis. Foul by Johnson. Goes for another three, missed and rebounded by Johnson. Over to White. White pulls up for a three, and it rims out and right into the hands of Collie. Lewis kicks it over in the corner. Nice fake drive, baseline shot up, no good. Go, 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 go. White. Tries to fake, lays in a nice layup. That was a nice play by White. He's a good, he's a good little player. 14 points for, uh, 13 points for White. Oh wow! I know he had a couple big three pointers in the first half. He had three threes in the first half. Pollock saves it for for Houston County. White somehow or another. He got, <laughs> He's a little off balance that time and uh, goes over the top of the backboard. Really 45-36, 47 seconds left in the third. Providence on top. Nice, nice pass. pass. Very nice pass. Got to finish though. Johnson to White. To Sappho, nice spin move off the glass for two. He's a good player. He's had a really good game. Sappho has uh, 24 points. Excuse me, 21 points. Had uh, 10 in the first half, and he's added uh, another 11 here in the second half. Weatherford with the free throw. Second attempt. It's 
off the mark, rebounded by Saffold. Seven seconds left in the third. A long three, and it rims out. So we've come to the end of three, and the score is Providence 46, Houston County 38. We'll be back with more action from the 14th Annual Downtown Dothan Hoops Classic. After this timeout, you're watching the Scenic Sports Network. Okay, we're back as we start the fourth period of action. Providence and Houston County. Good defense there by Providence. And Providence has pretty much uh, controlled this game. They they got Houston County playing the way they want them to play, and they pretty much control the tempo and all, and they have just yep. really outplayed Houston County so far in this game. They've had very balanced scoring. I think everybody on the team has scored except for a couple of the players, whereas only uh, four players have scored for, for Houston County, and White hits another three. That's his fourth three of the game. Yeah, White's had a really nice game. He's a good player. White has 16 points. Houston County is only down five right now. Wow. They were down 10 at halftime. Shot wide open. And say right back into the hand of Goldsboro, and he does what he should do. He makes the best it. That's right. Thanks for the gimme. Probably the easiest basket he'll score all year. White goes up again and knocks in a two. White has warmed up here. 48-43. Shot from the corner, wide open. And it's rebounded. And it's stripped away a great defensive play that time by Chancellor. So it's a five-point game. Houston County has the ball. Providence is uh, really defensively challenging Houston County. They really are. Get the ball into Saffold. Saffold go for three and misses, and it's rebounded by Goldsboro. Out to McClintock. McClintock passes the ball back to Goldsboro, who puts it up. And it goes in and out. A great hustle and put back by number four, Colley. And Lewis picks up the foul. Back into the game for Houston County is number four, Johnson. Leaving is number 34, Allen. Six minutes left. And a foul by Collie. Going to the line is number four, Johnson. Houston County is getting back in this game. And uh, the free throw is missed. He yeah. gets another. Got to make those, though. Second shot up. And he misses this, but it's rebounded and put back by number three. Goods. So we're down to a three-point game, 48-45. Right now, Houston County's on a 7-2 a run. Nice reverse layup that time for McClintock. Took on Saffold right there and just beat him one-on-one. -on -one. McClintock with 
Eight points. And Good scores again. Back to a three-point game. 50 to 47. Nice baseline move. Shot up. Foul. Chancellor. That fouls on number 30, Pollard. His first. Chancellor has uh, 20 points. He's two of three from the line tonight. He had 15 in the first half. He's only put up five here in the second half. I was about to say, he shot really well in the first half. Chancellor's second shot up, and it rims out. Johnson. Saffold. Four thirty-eight left. White kicks it out. Shot up. Miss rebounded by Hayes Lewis. Foul on number three. Goods. And the bonus. Yep. So at the line is Hayes Lewis. He is three of six from the line. Sefo with the rebound after the miss, and he's fouled. Yeah, he's going to shoot two now. And Weatherford. It's called for the foul, and at the line is Saffold. He can pull them within one. Saffold misses the first. He has 21 points. Wow. He misses both free throws. McClintock drives in off the glass for two. That was a nice play right there by McClintock. 52-47. So timeout on the court with 3.51 left in the fourth. It's 52-47. Providence leads. So... It's Houston County's ball with uh, 3.51 left. They're trailing by five. And they almost lost that one. White tries to get the ball in low, and we have it tied up, and a foul. That foul is on Weatherford. That's four on him unofficially. At the line is number 30, Pollard, who has two points. That one's short. Got to get his legs into it. And you know, a lot of times playing in a bigger uh, arena like this, the distance between the the uh, wall in the basket is a lot different. You're right. And you have to adjust. Yep. He makes one of two. He did. He used the box. 52-48. Providence leads. Shot missed. Rebounded by White. Out to Sappho for the three. Off the mark. Rebounded by Can't Houston get out County. Of there. White is blocked. And it stays with Houston County. 
Providence a little tough there around the basket. They have been impressive in the paint defensively. And they almost forced a turnover, but that time McClintock couldn't hang on. And wow, boy, that was a big save that it time. Was. By a good hustle that time by Saffold. Absolutely. I thought it was going out of bounds. Saffold goes for a long three, and it rims in and out, and it's rebounded by Colley. Man, I thought he made that shot right there. It was a good defense there by Houston County. We're down to 244 left. Nice feed under the basket. He loses the ball and it's rebounded by Saffold and it's ripped away from him and picked up by Chancellor. Chancellor swings it out for three. And it's in. Big time three by Smith. That was, a, that was a big shot right there. That was just his second field goal of the game, and both of them have been three. Yeah. And none bigger than that three there. Over the top is Smith. Both teams in the bonus. Sappho goes to the line to shoot one and one. Got to make those. Yeah, he's missed his last three. Timeout called by Providence. Coach Wright wanted to slow his team down and get them together. 159 left in the four. 55 Providence, 48 Houston County. The Eagles inbound the ball into Hayes Lewis. They're going to try to spread the floor out and. Don't blame them. Drain the clock. Nice feed. Nice pass, and it goes out of bounds. Goes out of bounds off the Eagles, so it's the Lions ball. They're trailing by seven, 55-48. White. Traveling. Houston County just getting in their own way. 121 left. Hayes Lewis controlling the floor. That foul is on number 22, White. At the line is number one, Hayes Lewis. And he makes the free throw. Yes. Uh, six points. Seven points, seven points. And he misses the second. Almost got the rebound there, though. Plays hard. Sappho spins, turns, shoots off the rim. Rebounded by Lewis. Forty six seconds left. An eight point lead, forty six to thirty eight. Floater, no go. Sappho rebound. Well, 
White pulls up for the three. In and out, rebounded by Smith. Yeah, I think that's going to do it there for Houston County. 16 seconds. They played hard tonight. Yeah, Providence is going to try to run the clock out, and they can. I mean, let's say, let's you know take our hats off to Houston County. They played tonight with seven players. That's and difficult. So the, the final score, 56 to 48, Providence wins and advances to the next round. And uh, it was an interesting game. It was an interesting game. Providence pretty much led the whole game. They pretty much controlled the tempo of the game and the style of the game. So and they were able to just uh, from start to finish do the job that needed to be done. Absolutely. They played good defense. They made the shots they needed to make. And, you know, just came up with stops when they needed to also. So hats off to them, and uh, we'll see them in the next round. So, Yeah, so uh, we uh, – this is this has been interesting, George. Uh, recapping the scoring by periods, it was 14-8 at the end of one, 31-21 at halftime, 46-38 at the end of three, and Providence wins at 56-48. They led the entire entire game. Yeah, I was gonna say I don't think Houston County ever did. And the leading score for Providence was number five Chancellor, who had 20 points and uh, 10 points for McClintock. Uh, four points from Goldsboro, four points from Collie, three points from uh, Weatherford, six points from uh, Smith, and Jacob uh, Lewis had two points, and let's see, Hayes Lewis had uh, four, five, six, seven points. And for Houston County, the big gun was none other than number 24, Sappho. We had 10 in the first half, and he added another 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. That's 20, 21. So he had a total of 21 points for the game. And White had three three-pointers in the first half and one in the second half. So he had nine points in the first half and 15, 18. He wound up with 18 points for the games. Four points for Goods. Two points for Perkins and uh, three points for Pollard. And we talked about if you look at the number of players score for Providence versus number of players for Houston County, you see why they won this game. So that wraps it up from the first round of the 14th annual Downtown Dothan Hoops Classic. On behalf of our announcer tonight, uh, George Willard, our cameraman is uh, Billy Causey and – a statistician of uh, Pepper Cliff Nyman. Thanks for watching the Scenic Sports Network.